they're in a big hurry, so I'm gonna follow them. <laughs> so I'm coming up on the back entrance of Burbody's Pan now. Mike Blue here reporting for FTP Portland. I'm following three uh, plainclothes police officers that seem to be in a really big hurry. Change positions. So uh, switch sides. Get a better bank point on what's going on. Chat with this gentleman here. Looks like there might be maybe some kind of dispute over this fellow's ID that they're looking at. And yes, they are plain clothes. I couldn't see see their badges from behind. And I'm behind Officer Martley, which is one of the nicer cops that I've met out here in a while. That's her right there with the hair sticking out of her uh, bean cap. Guy, they're questioning. Yeah, they're having a discussion about the ID in question. The security guy for this place here. Looks like they're gonna arrest him.
So we're going to follow him and take, take this guy back to Old Town Precinct. I guess there's some dispute over his ID. He was detained over his ID, and then they're going to take him back. Oh, I'm sorry, Marley. How are you? Sorry, sir. I'm all right. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Cop Watch is watching. Cop Watch is a civil rights organization that monitors and reports on police activity so they don't violate anybody's right, rights and whatnot. Thank you. You're welcome, man. There's me and three of my friends right here behind me filming, filming this. Yeah. We're actually called Film the Police Portland, but everybody knows Cop Watch since they've been around since the 90s, hey, so I just tell people. No problem with you guys filming or nothing? Yes, sir. Just uh, give us a little bit of work, you don't mind? Sure. Right. How about that's, this? That's, that's all good, right? That's okay, fine, like, right? like about eight feet or something? All good. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, you guys, you guys. I don't know. The officer said it's an ID issue. So, um, did they, did they detain him originally for his ID? <laughs> right, I... I, I love it. No, no matter what the context, people are always willing to, like, you know, express narcissism. It's great. Hey, if you were gonna kiss her, at least do it on camera, man. Come on. I was on camera. I'm gonna stay with you because you're a little. Yeah, I'm not taking stills. It's video, man. So the police said it's some ID issue. I think so. Um, so. I don't know. We we should interview his friends. If you ask if they'll consent, that would be yeah, great. Yeah. Oh yeah. OCC's looking at it or something, so. Hey, excuse me, officers, are you guys gang task force? Are you just regular detectives or plain clothes or whatnot? Um, we're state liquor commission. Oh, okay, right on. What? They're state liquor commission. Oh. Well yeah, so, if, if people try to go in okay. with a fake ID, they can get in the uh, the business can lose their liquor license yeah, and yeah. I I know what these guys are about. So, they're just making sure the bars are doing all the uh, stuff according to the law. Okay. It's so what they do. They're uh, they're state cops. So this is Oregon. Liquor huh? Oh man, that's like the biggest damn insult you could ever give me. You just kicked me in the balls or something. <laughs> cops. Really? Cops. Call me a cop. Ooh, that's me. Kapow. Kapow. That's Ooh, right. Booyah. Yeah, man. Fucking scrawny drunk Jews unite. <laughs> so yeah, all, uh, the officers asked for a few feet, so let's not like make them feel, you know, crowded or whatnot. And so Jeff Geiger's getting an angle from over there, and then we got Aaron Edmondstone right here covering my booty. And that's why I didn't recognize these guys, is because they're state liquor commission. So they're going to take this guy in to process him. So that's that. No, that's not what I'm hoping. I'm hoping to provide an, ex uh, an objective record for Orcon. I don't really care. Um, I like doing cop stories that are positive and negative ones, really. I like both. Are you from Portland? Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Mike Weir. Uh, Tamara. Nice to meet you, Tamara. Nice to meet you, too. So what are you looking for exactly? Like I said, um, when cops are doing good things, I... I Is this a good thing? I don't know. I, I wasn't there for... Uh, oh, you're just making his I'm, life a little bit more miserable. Whose life? Maybe the guy that is getting arrested right now? Maybe. So so I have a question for you. If they violate his civil rights and no one's there filming it, if, okay, it's his word against the police or hers, 
Yeah, it's their word against the police, right? If I publish that, right? If I publish me filming them, then it's their word against, you know, uh, the film and the police. Therefore, the truth gets portrayed no matter what, right? Is this really what you do for a living? Like, this is what you enjoy? No, I don't get paid to do this. I do this as a civil service, uh, it, it, from a sense of uh, community uh, duty, actually. Right. But uh, I didn't know there was a.